someone in Tavat has gone missing. And they've been gone for over a year now. No one knows where he's been or when he'll ever be back. And this individual, you probably have a good idea of who it is. It was our dear friend, a renowned Sumeru architect, Kave. A lot of you know Kave to be a very kind, heartwarming, and upstanding guy. But there are some deep, dark truths about Kave you may not know. The last time we heard about Kave was when he took the opportunity to take a Tevat nature discovery tour because Genshin Impact and the Discovery Channel had a collaboration. But once he set foot on this expedition, no one's ever heard of him since. Even his mother is worried deeply about her son. But before the trip, Kabe did something that can never be forgiven. Ever. assets from people's worlds. Statue of the Sevens, chest, bosses, puzzles, anything interactable, Kave could just delete. People desperately went to turn off co-op mode and deny any requests from any players wanting to join their game, especially if their profile picture was Kave. And as we're to believe, this heinous crime was actually not something that was real, and it was only in private servers. And that's what they say, but we don't know 100%. So very many people believe that this is the reason why Kave has yet to return, and why we haven't seen him on a banner in over a year. And you also may think, well, why isn't he in the Fortress of Meripede, or why isn't he locked up? I think this is the truth. Remember earlier when I mentioned that Discovery Channel trip? I think the Genshin Impact team deliberately and specifically chose Kave to go on that trip just so he can be out there with no support and no help, completely stranded with no way back. And that was their resolve for the Kave problem. So to this day, Kave is still on that island somewhere out there in the wilderness and will never possibly return. So if you ever wondered, will there ever be another banner with Kave on it? Well, the answer is quite obvious. No, unless he can find his way back from that island, we may never see Kave again. Maybe even perhaps Kave went through a gender change and this is his new identity to cover himself up from his previous crimes. Or they're completely off and Emily is just Emily. But in all seriousness, I genuinely do hope that one day we'll see Kave on a banner again. If there's anyone out there who knows anything about this man, please let it be known.